All right, and hey there, Proxians, and this is Proxify here, and guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Final Fantasy IX Let's Play. So if you guys missed out during our last episode, uh, we are now finally outside out of Limblum uh, after done uh, finishing off with the Theater District, and here we are now within the Q Marsh, and we are actually going and heading on over to the excavation site here for this episode for today. Um, but before we actually go and worry about the excavation site, I believe we actually need to go and actually go and talk to the leader uh, himself that's actually going to be in here, uh, one of the clan members that is actually going to be here in this place so that we can actually figure out on where this excavation site is actually going to be located at. Now, this excavation site is actually going to be known as, I, I believe, what is known as Fossil Roo. Uh, you guys may probably remember a different name from before uh, when we were actually crossing, uh, I think, throughout the Torino area to get back over to Alexandria, which that was actually known as Gargan Roo. And Gargaroo actually had a Gargant that was actually a very uh, nice little friendly creature that we were able to actually go and travel alongside with. But now here for this one, it's actually going to be a little bit different. This one, uh, this one in particular at Fossil Roo with this Gargant in particular, is that you actually have to do everything manually to actually go and uh, basically feed this creature so that you can be able to travel across into the other different sections around Fossil Roo. Now, also too, uh, this one in particular does not really like water all that too much, so unfortunately it can't really going across through a certain path so when you actually go and start getting inside fossil root there's going to be all these weird little markings that will actually tell you exactly where you're going to be going but we'll worry about that later once we actually go and start heading on over to that place now uh also too before i go and actually do this episode with you guys as well before we get all started just want to let you guys know that i actually did do some off record type of stuff with the periodot and i actually got ramu all the way up uh, fully accessible for us to go and use at whatever given time that we can do at our at our or desire right now which i am very happy about so ramu we can literally use at any given moment which that is awesome um now i think also as well too i did kind of go and do some moving around uh with vivi in the abilities to be exact uh, so it wasn't the equipment uh but yeah we actually do have uh, insomniac and loudmouth uh, because i believe uh, since we are going to be going and fighting off uh, with Lonnie, you want to make sure that you actually do have uh, Loudmouth or Somniac because I'm pretty certain, uh, I, I think Lonnie kind of deals a lot more of magic power uh, within the fight, so you want to be uh, very careful for when that uh, does happen. But if you actually have Magic Hammer on Kina, you should be very fine within this battle, and you wouldn't really have all that too much of a problem with it. But let's go ahead and head up this way, up back to where the to the leader's house is going to be at because uh, we actually do need to go and talk in order to him but just wait until just three and then we actually do have to go and actually uh, physically fight with this guy at some point which that's gonna be pretty crazy but hey how's it going dude so prox uh so uh wait hold on uh, that's us uh do you know uh, any excavation sites uh, in this area uh, excavation sites hmm well maybe i heard about it but maybe not uh maybe uh what do you mean maybe uh, I only heard about an excavation site around in this area. So this Marshall Road covered in brush may be there, a uh, road to the excavation site uh, hidden somewhere. Uh, Kina might know. Huh, so hidden in a bush, huh? Well, thanks anyways. Now, I believe there is an actual hidden area uh, within this place, uh, to be exact. And uh, we never really actually been to this side. And I think it's just literally right up here. And that is where we can actually be able to go and quickly make our way on over to where that excavation site is going to be. So let's go and follow on there like so. I mean, let's keep on moving forward. So, Kina, where are you going? I smell, I smell frogs. Uh, no, we have to go and look for the entrance at the outer continent. Yeah, now speaking about that outer continent, uh, there is actually going to be some new magic type of spells that we're actually be learning for Kina uh, at some point. Uh, there is going to be an enemy known as a Cactar, uh, which you guys have already basically know about who Cactar is because he's been kind of showing up in different references of different Final Fantasy games for quite some time, even in the uh, remake uh, for, for Final Fantasy as uh, actual... Uh, uh, as an actual summon, which that's actually pretty cool as well. Um, but yeah, so Cactar, uh, for that is, uh, like, I believe he actually has a special magic spell known as a Thousand Needles, which again, I don't think it's really, like, the best of magic spells, uh, for, for, uh, for Kina, but it is something to go and pick up if you ever do want to go and collect everything that's going to be there. Uh, there's also going to be known as, uh, Magic Goblins as well, too. I think that's what they're known as. Uh, those guys actually have another special blue magic spell, uh, known as Goblin Punch. 
not really a good move for this Final Fantasy game in particular, but there is uh, some other good uh, Goblin Punch type of ways. I think in Final Fantasy V, which is actually somewhat uh, pretty reliable as well. Uh, but right now here at Final Fantasy IX, I don't think Goblin Punch is really all that great. But again, if you want to go in 100% complete everything with Blue Magic Spells, that is one that you do need to go and look for. Here within the excavation site, there is actually a Blue Magic Spell known as a think it's known as holy level four that's actually something that you actually do want to go and pick up and actually give that over to uh to kina because that will be really helpful holy is actually something really nice to actually have as for a blue magic spell and also slash uh for white mage spells as well too because that is also something that is also uh really nice as well too for that place so making our way down here and i think we actually made it to our area within the side uh fossil rue which uh here we go Yes, it's finally time. Now, if you ever did miss out on grabbing the Stardust Rod here uh, back over at Limbo, which I don't know why you would ever want to miss out on an opportunity to pick up uh, yourself a Stardust Rod, uh, here in Fossil Root, not to worry, you can actually go and pick up one uh, here, but you just have to kind of wait a little bit uh, until you actually go and start making your way to the Outer Continent. Now, there is a gate that is locked here, but once we actually do go and take care of the fight that goes on with the... Uh, uh, with Lonnie and also with the optional boss that gate will actually be open and you can actually go pick up yourself up with the elixir of that section uh, but uh, yeah, I think I'm fine with the order that I do have because again I do want to leave Prox, Kina out in front Dagger and Vivi are gonna be left out in the back and I think we should be fine now also to make sure that you actually do have some uh, good items with you I do have a little bit of some high potions and some uh, normal posters as well but i think we should be okay for the long run so let's go and head on down here and i think something is going to be happening out here whoa what the what the heck is going on what's this rumbling going on oh no whoa that's not a really friendly guy right there yeah that's the optional boss uh we do not really want to go and fight him at the moment uh because uh if you ever do get yourself injured by the axe uh that is coming around here just be really careful be very 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 very, very careful now oh or you could go into the fight with him as well too but again would you really want to go and do this fight? Not really, but we'll go and do it anyways. Uh, this guy is just going to be a pain in the neck, though. But don't really go and steal anything from this dude. He's nothing really anything too important. Oh, he actually has a back attack on us this time around? Are you kidding me? What the heck? What's he going to do? Now, I think fire damage... Oh, level 5 death. Oh, God. Now, that's going to be a little bit uh, too crazy. Uh, let's go in attack mode out here before that becomes a little bit too insane. Okay, let's go for a... Uh, oh, no! Dagger's already went and knocked out. Jeez. Okay, uh, let's go start for a fire damage. Uh, let's go for a mighty guard. Jeez. I can't believe that freaking dagger already got knocked out already. Ah, uh, I forget what this guy's name is actually known as, but, uh... But there he goes. He already has been knocked out. Yeah, see you later, dude. Yeah, again, nothing to really go out and grab. I think he actually has, like, Phoenix Pinions and other things of the sort like that, but that's about it. <sighs> but now he's back up and ready to try and fight us again. Jeez. Okay, hopefully he does not wake up this time around. I do need a Phoenix down, though. Jeez, man. Okay, well, uh, I guess we'll just set up for posters. We have, like, a whole bunch of these, so let's just go and waste all these guys back up, though. Nope. Not gonna happen today, dude. Yeah, this part gets a little bit too annoying with that freaking axe type of stuff. We have to have to do this, like, quite a few times. Ugh. So, just kind of follow with the axes here for a little bit. No, that guy's still going to be chasing after us. No. No, leave me alone. Whoa. Go. Hop down on it. Ah! Well, thank God. We made it. Uh, yep, and we'll let that guy just kind of fall down to his death down there. <laughs> but there we go. We finally made it. Thank goodness. Uh, don't have to go worry about that battle anymore. Uh, sorry, Vivi, are you okay? Uh, yeah. Uh, but look out. Uh, out of my way. <laughs> oh, God, Kita. Oh, uh, that was a close call. Well, uh, it wasn't a close call on Dagger, though. Dagger got, got herself completely knocked up by that annoying level 5 death move. Uh, I've been looking for you, Princess Garnet. Uh, have we met? Uh, quit flirting with her. Uh, yes, ma'am. All right, well, I'm Lonnie. Uh, I'm under order by the, the queen to find you, princess. My mother? But what does my mother have w w want with me? I'm not returning to Alexandria. Well, I got bad news for you, princess. It's not you that I'm after. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, the pendant. Does that sound familiar? Hmm. Well, let's have it back. It belongs to Queen Ron. Oh, no. Well, that's not good. Now, listen carefully, princess. 
Uh, you escaped unscathed from the, from the monster, but you're not going to be so lucky with me. Hand over that pendant right this minute. Are you the one who set that monster loose? Retrieving the pendant for outweighs the safety of, of the princess. But what do you mean by that? I mean exactly what I said. My orders don't include totally clear Princess Garnet's kind of safe return. But what? My mother would never order that. Oh no. So give me that pendant. You're trying my patience. What, what if we refuse? Stubborn fools, have it your way. Now this is one thing that, that this fight can actually be really annoying, but hey, if you actually do have the magic hammer, you can actually make this fight very, very, very easy. They, they don't have to go really worry about it all that too much. But first things first is that uh, I'm gonna kind of have everything kind of plan out here uh, for what I do want to do. So uh, to actually go and set up here with first, uh, do not set out for Ramu, but actually go for a protect on everyone. Uh, but I should have went and did it on, on each every single person, but that's okay. I'm gonna go for a mighty guard on everyone. Uh, I'm gonna go for a uh, focus. No, uh, I'm gonna go for black. Uh, for black spell, I'm gonna go for slow. I'm gonna cast that up. Uh, so we're gonna go and set that up immediately. All right, now go for a steal. Uh, now, basically, what Lonnie has is she actually has a gladius and also has a coral sword. Now, the coral sword is gonna be a little bit hard to actually grab, but if you can do it, you should be fine uh, for that. There. Uh, now, go for shells. Uh, go uh, for that on dagger, which you should be fine for that. Ah, oh, okay. Or we can miss. That could also be another problem too. Okay, we are supposed to ether, so that was the first one uh, here first. Ouch. Yeah, had enough yet? Nope. We did not have enough. Um, I guess we could probably go and I guess I don't think we need to really worry about Kina right now at the moment But let's go and steal uh, Oh, right. Yes. No. Oh, I totally forgot about the uh, The uh, dang it uh, The magic hammer because she's just gonna keep on literally uh, lighting up with all this stuff and I should have went Oh, there we go. Got ourselves the gladius uh, Let's go for another white mage spell. Let's go for another shell. We're gonna go uh, and set that up on BB here because I think I already did that. Because I did one on Dagger and I think I did one on Vivi. Now, water is actually going to do quite a bit of damage, so be careful. Um, but yeah, let's go for our Magic Hammer because we actually do that immediately. There we go. Let's go and set up for a shell this time around. We'll go and uh, set that up on Vivi. Nice. Uh, I think we should be okay now. I don't think we need to really go and worry about it. I'm not going to go and uh, set up for Bio yet. Because I do want to go and make sure to go and uh, pick up on ourselves with the, uh, let's see how much this magic hammer is going to do. It's going to, ooh, wow, it sucks up all that, it sucks up all that MP right there. Alright, uh, arrow, watch out, that's going to be doing a lot of damage too. Uh, shell, we're going to set that up on, uh, procs here as well. Uh, we're going to go and set for another steal. Be, uh, be a little bit careful for what's going to be happening. Alright, setting up my shell for good old procs. So there we go. Gonna set up for a high poster. Gonna go and set that up on dagger here for a quick second. Nice! Wow, we actually are supposed to coral sword right off the bat too. Okay, awesome. Now it's actually gonna be going out for scan. Uh, we're gonna go now for bio here, and bio is actually gonna do a lot of damage. So now, <laughs> so now she's actually gonna go uh, out for. Uh, oh wow. Okay, really? I'm weak to fire. Okay, that was a little bit weird. Okay, but I think we should be all right now. I'm just gonna go out into just a random attack mode. I'm just gonna go and set up for another attack as well too in the process. So yeah, Bio should actually do uh, basically a lot of damage onto her. So yeah, just like a thousand damage right there. Nice. I think that already went first her off. Uh, you're pretty good. Yep. We were pretty good throughout all the different other boss battles that we've been doing so far. <laughs> but there we go. Like yeah, like I I know that we did pretty good against that ant lion though. That was like a problem and a half. But what a drag. But I'll let you guys go for now. Alright, and off she goes. But hey, I'm very happy that we actually got ourselves the Coral Sword very quickly than what it did from originally from before. So very awesome about that. Um, but let's go and uh, head into an ability here for Dagger. Let's just go and cure up on everyone because that's exactly what I want to do right now. Just get everybody back up uh, to their to their normal to their normal level or, or well, back to their normal HPs all over again. I should basically go ahead and say. So while that optional boss is now gone, we can actually be able to go and head all the way back to the very beginning of this place so that we can actually now be able to go and uh, be able to go and pick up ourselves up on another elixir. So just be careful around here. But yeah, come around this side and head right on into this area and you can get yourselves an elixir. So there you go. Very cool. But however, 
Uh, I will be cutting out this part, so I will be see you guys in just in a little second. I'm just going to go and uh, start making our way to our Moogle section that's going to be here. All right, guys, so I am back. So after all that annoying uh, walking back from all those annoying axes that were going on, and I had to get bombarded by like a whole bunch of freaking griffins everywhere, but hey, at least I was able to actually go and uh, pick up on some extra more periodots though uh, in the process. So if we ever do need to go and boost up on Ramu or any of the other summons that we actually do have, we can actually go and do that. Now, actually speaking about summons in particular, uh, I don't know if you guys don't really know about this, but uh, if you guys do see here that we actually do have all these uh, Phoenix Pinions, um, make sure that you actually do at least have like quite a few of those Phoenix Pinions because we can actually get ourselves another summon uh, at some point known as Phoenix, and that will actually be really nice because those Phoenix Pinions can really help us out be able to get ourselves another summon uh, for what we do need to do here. Now, I think if we actually just come right around here and actually pick up on this flower, uh, we could actually go and uh, give it over here to the Gargan. And uh, he is actually going to basically take us right on over to our next Moogle, which I do need to go and uh, get ourselves all saved up and whatnot while we actually do make our way here. And this is where the excavation site is actually going to be. Uh, now, things are going to start getting really annoying within the next episode because we actually have to go through quite an annoying maze with this uh, with this garg uh, with, with this gargant that's actually going to be here. But not to worry, I actually did do a little bit of some research to make sure exactly about where I am going to be going uh, throughout here. So we should be able to uh, hopefully be able to uh, kind of access our way uh, a little bit nicer uh, within the next episode uh, throughout here at Fossil Roo. But anyways. Yeah, so if we actually go and talk to one of these guys here, he's going to be going like, Whoa, you found the excavation site, so are you here uh, for treasure too? Uh, treasure, what are you even talking about? Uh, you don't know? The excavation site has tons of treasures and rare fossils, which, speaking about, uh, there is going to be some really nice good items to actually go and find here uh, with the side fossil room. And uh, there's actually one item in particular that I actually do want to go and or find, well, basically, well, hopefully if I do find it, uh, which in here, uh, in, in side fossil room, uh, there's an uh, there's a actual item known as the Lamia, uh, or Lamara, or, yeah, I think it's like Lam, uh, uh I can't remember, remember what his name is. I think it's called like a Lamar, uh, a Lamara Tierra or something like that. Lamara's Tierra. I think that's what it's called. Lamara's Tierra. And, uh, and that is actually going to be able to use uh, for Kina or for Dagger, which for some reason for the Lamia's Tierra, you could actually go and give that over to uh, Kina because I guess... Uh, I guess Kita can actually learn a little bit of some of the female type of items that you can actually go and give on over to, which I think that's pretty crazy. But hey, there's still skin here, but we should go with probably... Uh, what the heck? Why can I go and do a battle right now all of a sudden? Okay. Uh, well, I don't know. If I find feather circles, can I actually go and get myself a... Uh, nope, it's going to be one of these guys here again. Jeez. Come on, man. I was literally going to just be going and talking over the skill skin for this quick second, but nope. Jeez. Okay. Well, you know what? You asked for it, dude. Nope, you're gonna get yourself completely destroyed out here by all my guys. Yeah, take this to the face. You're out of here, dude. No. I need to go and basically talk it over to Stillskin. <laughs> but whenever you do find Stillskin anywhere around here, make sure that you actually do go and uh, basically grab out on all of his items because you can actually get yourself a special reward. And I will always keep on saying that every time that we meet up with Stillskin, so... Let's go ahead and uh, see what he's got here. Yes! Give me those remedies and ethers and all that other good stuff. So thank you very much. Now, uh, let's go and check out on the moon net here. So I guess we got ourselves a brand new thing from Kuda Mogi. Uh, so I'm so bored, Kubo. Okay. I don't really want to know about you and your boredom. But I'm going to go and do a little bit of a quick save and actually end off this episode here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. In the next one, we are going to be going and checking out the excavation site a little bit more. And hope we can find some feather circles that could actually go and help us get ourselves our next magic uh, magic blue spell for Kina. Which that is going to be holy. And uh, maybe within, uh, well, I don't know how long uh, Fossil Rue is going to be. So we may probably have to split it off into like maybe two different parts before actually heading out, uh, out into the uh, outer continent. But we'll just have to see what happens from there. So I'll see you guys that and